Hello everyone, I'm Symes, and with me as usual is Robin. Hello there. And welcome back to EU4. Um, last week I tried out the old Ragusa tactic, strategy, stratagem, whatever we're calling it, and it backfired because I didn't check properly. <laughs> There's a Ragusa who wasn't allied to some powerful people, but was being guaranteed by Hungary. So Hungary joined the war, I didn't get... Well, exactly what I wanted. Instead, Mantua released this two province Savoy over here, which I'm now basically sitting next to, going soon, soon. <laughs> um, meanwhile, down in Africa, the uh, Spanish steamroller just keeps on rolling. Yeah, my next plan is to uh, take out um, take out Aragon, and to that end, I'm I'm constructing a mega fleet. All right, so you're going to go... Um, yes, you're going to need to... I need a lot of ships to do it. How's that? Is Aragon still not allied? Oh, they're not. They're not, That is no. going to be <laughs> deeply unfortunate for them. <laughs> yes, that is my plan. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 this sounds like a solid plan to me. Yep, okay. make things horrible for them. <laughs> well, I've got a bunch of rebels that I need to... You know, rebellious Scots that I need to crush, as the song would have it. So, uh, let's just uh, do it. They're doing quite well. I mean, I had to cross a river, so... But I do have twice as many men as them. That's always positive. So that's, that is helping quite a lot. Yeah. Right, the Battle of Ayrshire was won oh, by I really, I really wish you could scroll around this map using WASD. And there, it is a little irritating, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Austria's de declared war on Savoy, so I didn't get a chance. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to declare war on Savoy to take them, because Austria's done it instead. That is also right. very irritating. You know, it was always a possibility. I don't actually know why. They didn't have a true. Uh, Austria wasn't in that war, I thought they were. There was no trucing going on. I need to pursue these rebels so I can just crush them once and for all. Crush them! And St. John has become a city. The rebel army is crushed. I just need to go and take these provinces back, and then that'll be that for the rebellion. Oh well. It was nice, uh, briefly, <laughs> having the ambition to take these two provinces here. But not now. Nobles ally with foreign power. Oh, How dare they? They will pay for their treachery. Oh, again, the diplomatic uh, insult to be on Mainz, and I spend the three admin power. Right, occupied Inverness. Take Sutherland, and that will be that. Right, over here in North America, I have colonies that need making. Um, let's not filling in some bob space here. Yeah, like this big open area here. That looks prime for colonisation. Sutherland recaptured. Ah. And done. More poke points for me. So I'll send that army back down to somewhere where it's not constantly getting attrition. And, uh, yeah. Alright. So Sav Savoy's going to lose this war. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. <laughs> and I'm going to be miffed, because because not only does that mean that I didn't get to do that, but now Austria is in the way of Mantua, which is... Well, I actually want to beat up on tariffs on fish. No, I'm good. Hmm, not sure what to do there. I also need to bring my armies back up to the force limit because I lost another stack. Oh, you got force uh, stack one, didn't you? Yeah, I lost a stack of thirty or so. So. Some hussars. Right, I'm just basically making troops in France now. That's what France is for. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll get an army together of like some troops. 
I can invest in new technology. Oh, the, the cuirassier. Better, inf better um, infantry and better cavalry and improved flanking range. Better infantry shock. Sounds good. Let's do it. I shall now upgrade my troops. Uh, wherever that's gone. Yeah. Red cut infantry to square infantry or impulse infantry. Um, yeah, impulse because they are attackers and then Latin Gracier Chaussures. Let's go for Lancers. Lancers look good. Right, so that's upgrading them. I've got another colony finished. Um, flanged bicep continues to grow. <laughs> Ooh, I definitely need my, this. My fleet is getting a bit bigger. Or rather, a flanged bicep definitely needs that. Um, yeah. So that's that, really. Some small chunks of bob here. Ah, Russia's announced me as their rival. Excellent. Very nice of them. But I'm not really... Oh, I have a debate in Parliament to do. What are we debating? Can I have another colonist? No. However, I can remove Rotten Borough from Northumberland and get my point of stability back. So I'll do that. Um, what do I have to do? Grant some military support, some local autonomy, maybe. Yeah. The legitimacy, plus one. Right. Got my stability back. It's all good. Gained the Imperialism Caster's Bay against Frankfurt. I'm sure I had that already, but... Uh... <laughs> Probably. Um, let's march these troops to Paris, because it's a handy place to put troops. And I can look at ships. how big this army is, is so far, and how many more lads I might build. So yeah, Frankfurt's in the middle of, <laughs> in the middle of, obviously, what will become Germany. Um, our manpower serves need to recover. Uh, yeah, alright. <laughs> I've just had a revolt. Have you? Just when all my lads <laughs> are in the right place. Where are they? Right, so I need oh, some more right. infantry in this the revolt stack. Um, where are we at? Oh, there they are. So we'll do six more infantry. Oh, the nobles are in the middle of Africa. No way. Odd place for them to be, but... Yeah. Who knows? Never mind. Got 37,000 people there. 14 more mortars, I think. Right. Sort them out. Right, lost a general. So this will get a 40 stack going. Um, this, this army is unbalanced, but... Uh, Although, what's this army going? 31,030. Should probably strip that one out a little bit. Because ideally, the thing that I haven't been doing um, is as your technology progresses, um, you can support larger armies and in one um, province at a time. Yeah. Which means that uh, they don't suffer attrition, which means you can sort of have bigger stacks moving around. Yeah. And that's handy because um, as your combat width grows, you want. Uh, you still only want your three cavalry to either side, but obviously you want to put more infantry in the middle and more Ooh. artillery behind them. And I haven't really been doing that. Really random Protestants. Random Protestants? Oh no, yep, so, I suddenly. A, I know, territory random, randomly completely, totally changed to Protestants. It is pretty random, given that uh, the Reformation it shouldn't be happening anymore. Where was it? Was it in Africa? Was it not Zealots that did it? 
No, it's just random. Huh. Yeah. Decline of the spice trade. No more spices. Spice isn't flowing anymore. And all that. Yes, indeed. We'd like the spice to flow, but it's not happening. Um. Oh. I mean, I could do with the army tradition, but I also could do with the seventeen thousand manpower. I take the manpower. Right. I think my fleet is nearly ready. That's handy. It's quite large. Who were misses? Ah, I've just got the construct ground fleet. <laughs> Excellent. Right, so I'm moving this army up to Paris. And, uh. It's going to end up being rather more than 40k, but it's fine. It's actually 46k. Um, yeah, it's 20,000 infantry, 6,000 cavalry, 20,000 artillery. That seems good. I'm, I'm reasonably okay with that. This army here that's enormous because it was two armies that got merged when they crossed the channel. I might do something with that. I don't know how they got 10 regiments of horse in there. That's not, that's not a number that I would expect to have from merging two armies, but obviously something... Yeah. Something went wrong somewhere, and it was probably my fault. Right, so I guess um, Austria lost their war against Savoy because Savoy didn't lose anything. Oh nope, um, they got vassalized. All oh, right. Yeah. Check out my fleet. Which was the thing what that I was. It? The other glory to us. Brilliant five prestige for me for no reason. Um, yeah, so uh, the, 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 the alternative that I was considering regarding Savoy, which is to try and get him to be my vassal, uh, Austria did already. So now uh -huh. I can't do it. Curse Annoying. you, Austria. The Ottomans has announced me as their rival. Yeah. They've obviously got uh, made some successful progress in their wars. Yeah, they've beaten up on Najd and Iraq a bit, so... So, oh man, I'd, I'd really like to take stuff from the Papal State, but it's just too much hassle. They're allied with Portugal and Bohemia, as well as me. So, yeah. So I'm kind of stuck. Um, Jacobite Rebellion, again? There's a lot of Jacobites. Jacobites are rising up in Orkney this time. But you know what? I didn't. Yep. I didn't move the army out of Great Britain, so, <laughs> so they just need to march north some more and crush them and destroy the pretenders. I will give them a general. Why not, George Howard? I guess there's lots of Jacobite rebelling going on. So uh, that was my force limit. Uh, I'm still about 30 away, 25 to 30 away. So this army here, which is 21, 6, 12. What I'll do is I'll split off an infantry from there. Move into that. And I'll make some more cannons. Right then, it's gonna get smackdown is gonna occur in a moment. Oh, I'm busy beating up the Jacobite army in Sutherland. I won. They are running away. I must pursue <clears throat> and kill them. Oh, that was a very short fight. I just need to go and suppress um, Orkney. So this army here is at 15, 6, 18. 
So, two more cannons and five more infantry on that one. Right, so I've uh, I'm going to park those troops in Edinburgh, in Lothian, rather than taking them all the way back to London. If this Jacobite Rebellion thing is going to keep popping up. Damn Regency freaking council. Oh dear. No wars for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame, because you were just poised there. Yeah. <laughs> I can see. I'm just waiting to lay the smack down. It looks like I'll have to do some kind of stability thing. Um, well, you have to wait until your king comes of age or queen before you can yeah. do any wars. No, it's a Regency Council thing. Yeah. How, what age is that? Fifteen. Oh, four years. Mm. Bloody hell. Inconvenient, Annoying. yes. Very inconvenient. So my new um, standard stack size is apparently 46,000. And I'm just kind of about to build up this other army in Savoy to that, to that level. Um, it needs uh, five more infantry regiments and two more cannons. There we go. I'll leave this 71k army, which is slightly irregular, in there to deal with that stuff. Okay, so um, another colony is nearly done, which will be. Uh, where? Where is that one? Oh, it's this one. So yeah, we're filling in, filling in gaps for Bob a little bit. Let's see if we can make the, the letters even bigger. <laughs> I have to wait. Ah, it's like annoying. <laughs> It must be, so much time it must be torture for you. It's like, yeah. Can I have wars? No. Ah. <laughs> I want a war. I mean, I could have a war and invite you, but that wouldn't mean that you got anything. So. Ah. Uh, yay, rebels! I mean that I got stuff. Well, I mean, there's the transferring control thing. So potentially we could do that. Yeah. Oop. More war. More rebels. But then you, you also have rebels to deal with, so yeah, you should concentrate on that maybe. The truce with Nuremberg has ended. Right, I have gained colonialism, Casas Belli against Portugal yeah. because they, ah, they've got a. They have a um, colony that's near enough to me that um, you could say actually that's I ours. Go, you know, I go oh, but it seems that Norway is at war with Lithuania at the moment because the Norwegian West Indies is is occupied by Lithuania. So Norway's not. Norway seems fine, <laughs> but Norwegian West Indies is being beaten up. <laughs> So, uh, yes, this is one more month for this. It's five, five more colonists to uh Yep, adjust those letters. Um, is there more, any more wasteland down here? It's all just stuff. It's all just stuff. If any of these are any good? That one's okay. I'm going to just start filling this stuff in for Bob, I think. I could try getting this big wasteland, I suppose. Yeah, I might do that, actually. Of coring. Yay! All my people have the right religion now. Again. That's good. I can. Doesn't take long. Invest in a quality idea, the naval drill, to make my navies better. Um. Yes, I will. He's twelve. Come on, get older. <laughs> Don't they get older just because you tell him? Kids, they, just, they just don't obey you when you tell them to get older. Ridiculous. Terrible. 
I think the Jacobite Rebellion might be over, but I'm just going to leave those lads there for a while. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what else to... It's going to be a quiet one for me. I'm not sure what else to... Uh, what other adventurism I might attempt at the moment, because, you know, I could go... I suppose I could try and... Denmark is currently... Oh, there's a Danish-Lithuanian imperialist war going on. I assume Norway is involved in that. Uh, yeah, Norway. Yes, Norway is involved in that. And Lithuania and Portugal are on the other side of that. Um, ugh, Denmark is irritatingly allied with Hungary. Oh, and Denmark also controls Norway and Sweden, so... What sort of rebels you got here? Uh, dead ones. Uh, Malian separatists. Hmm. Malian dead latists. Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, is Rugusa still in yeah. here? Rugusa still guaranteed by Hungary. That's no longer a good well, my idea. My truces have ended. But I can't invade anywhere. So Albania like... is guaranteed by Rugusa. <laughs> I don't know if that sets off a chain of stuff whereby you invade Albania and Ragusa gets involved because they're guaranteeing Albania and then Hungary goes, ah, we're guaranteeing Ragusa, and so they get involved. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Which, if you wanted to invade Ragusa, means that you should attack Albania instead. You just move further and further down the chain till you find a weak link. So it's all a world war. But, like, even though I could invade Albania, technically, they're on the coast, I could get some more coastal territory. Puts me right next to the Ottomans, though. Alright, I've got another colony self sustaining. Um, I'm gonna go up here. So I don't know, really. What's this? I'm really only getting that oh. much military. I'm only getting one military power a month. That that's terrible. that's why. Oh, that's that's why I've got this CB against Portugal. They've got a whole load of stuff in Florida that I wasn't paying attention to. All right, Portugal is officially annoying me now. Well, if you want to invade Portugal, I'd be down for it. I have got some uh, local territories I'd like to steal. <laughs> Yes, they've got. It's currently Portugal because they haven't got the full five um, provinces required for a colonial nation. But they're they're doing two more, and that'll do it. So we'll curse you, Portugal! You you just want to take actual Portugal and also Ceuta there, which is an annoying, yeah, basically. An annoying yeah, is, greenish blue thorn in bit. your side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and the, that bit in on West Africa they've got as well. You want that? Yeah. And the islands, basically. I should go to war with them. Uh, I'm sure I could crush them, actually. <laughs> Unless their stuff's all over all. So it's Probably it's getting to Brazil is the problem. So they're allied with Spain and the Papal State and me, Portugal. Yeah. Um, well, the thing about that is, though, um, you don't actually necessarily need to take all of their stuff in South America. You just need to sit on all of the home country provinces for, like, five years or something. And then you win. Just by holding the, uh, their capital. Just, just by hanging on to all of their, um, all their stuff. All their stuff, right? I'm at risk of becoming a junior partner in a personal union. How on earth can there be a succession war between Hungary and Russia over 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 British? That makes no <laughs> sense. So yeah, I should, have, I should have allowed the rebels to win. Then that wouldn't have happened because there'd have been a, um, a Stuart on the throne at that point. Who, who's your current? Uh, it's the von Habsburg dynasty right now. So yeah. M Habsburgs. There is a there is a map mode for dynasties somewhere. Just to see where it's at. I don't know where it is. Um, political. Dynastic. There we go. So yeah, von Habsburg is. Um, so you're obviously the, the Trastamara dynasty. Um, obviously. Obviously. 
Obviously. The Von Habsburg obviously over is uh, is Britain and um, Hungary and Salzburg and and Mainz and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but Russia for some reason Russia Russia is Romanov, so I don't know why they'd be involved in the succession war at all. Very strange. It's a bit weird. I don't want to particularly have to fight my way out from under either of them. I mean, it would be probably easier to do against. Um, What's the danger again? Who was it? I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know. Whatever. <laughs> Russia and I think it was was it Hungary? Yeah. I don't remember. Whatever. I've got another colony to make. Um. So. Oh, never mind. Problem solved. <laughs> Got an heir to the throne now. Hey. Problem solved. No longer, no longer need to Mine's worry. 14. He's got no freaking admin skill, which is really annoying. Yeah, because admin, you really need that. That is, that is your yeah. primary. <laughs> that's your primary uh, thing right now. Yeah. Okay. So. Right. There's uh... nearly time for war. It's always nearly time for war, to be yep. honest. Like, I'm God, putting my armies down here in preparation for invading the Mohicans. I should <clears> probably <throat> invade all that. I'd capture all this for Toast of Fungus, but it's largely rubbish. Oh, my Toast of Fungus isn't doing it. I should probably give them some subsidies to encourage them to grow. The Battle of Androscoggin was won by me. Hey. Uh, right. So, yeah, you're just hovering, hovering outside Aragon there, going, come on, come <laughs> They're on. They're licking their borders. It must be a bit unnerving. Um, oh, uh, the Papal State's attacking Aragon right now. Now would be the oh. perfect time. Also, oh, come on. Yep. Yeah, is it? Uh, it's a nationalist war, so, yeah, they're going into the south, uh, into southern Italy there. Papal State's really expanding. But I was just thinking like earlier, and, and uh, we were talking about um, Portugal, and Portugal's yeah. allies are uh, you, me, and the Papal State, right? Yeah. So that means that if we went against Portugal, that would put us uh, in a war against Portugal and the Papal State. Who's another person you kind of want? And to I be kind of want to beat the crap out of the Papal State. So yeah. Yeah. I don't think Portugal has many people. Um, they don't. Have, they don't have a lot of land that's not um, colonies. Yeah, so, so it would take quite a while to get people back. So and and so all of they've got loads of stuff in in, in South America. And they've got colonies which probably have a reasonable size armies, but they don't have new emperor. Hurrah! Now you can go to war immediately. My friends, subjects, and lovely people. Immediate war. Before <laughs> yes. He, before he dies I've again. Just got to. <laughs> I've just got organized. Or oh, oh, before the, the papal state occupies anything. Look what's happening in Girona. Right. The, in that case. the papal states in where in the stuff that you want already. No! So you're going to have to. Yep. <laughs> They're moving across to the west. <laughs> and now Aragon's like, oh, you've only got 17 men there, 17 k men there. We're going to kill them. Yeah, your army's losing. You can never have too many men. Ooh, more manpower for me. Recovering economy. Oh. Um, we should rely more on trade income. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what do I need to do for that? Trade income at least 60%. What is it currently? Um, People are requesting military access. They can't bloody have it. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I've, I'm about half trade and half other stuff, so I don't think that will work. But uh, that's what it, if I shuffled some merchants around, I'll give it a try. What's the worst that's going to happen? Prison problems. Oh, prison problems is like you should totally colonise Australia. That's what that, that's what that one is. <laughs> I'm gonna go with for the trade income one. It, I might not work, but uh, well, my mucks going on. Oh, admin. Um, I can't actually spend it yet, which means I must be very ahead on. Yeah, can't afford that. All right, time to spend some admin power on development again.
Austria has called me to war. Oh yes. But I thought you were. I thought you were at war. Uh, Austria is not at war, so I don't think it can be them. Unless they're able to do it before. It is. Uh, uh, oh, it's Portugal. Right. Portugal's not at war either. Dude, where's it coming from then? I'll click on it. It's either Austria or Portugal comes up. Um, oh, I can call allies to my war. Oh, yes, oh. You're, you can call people to your <laughs> war. I don't want that. Right. It's your war, it's called to arms thing. Yeah. But you'll probably be fine against Aragon anyway. Yeah, uh, but it's just whether I can actually grab any of the stuff. Well, okay, I'm ready. You, just, you can just occupy the stuff and wait for the... Because if you beat up yeah. Aragon, they'll want a piece out of their war with the Papal States, so you can just occupy stuff. Yeah. And wait, and uh, the Papal State can't. Oh, the Papal State actually can call those because some of them are coastal. So that would be irritating. That would be very interesting. They'll have to crush the Papal State. But then we can just declare war on Portugal. One, one of us um, de allies with Portugal, and then the other one declares on them. Actually, we both have to de ally with them. And then we declare on them as an alliance. And. Uh, and then we go, and then we can attack the Papal State and uh, Portugal together. In fact, I could just, I could go after the Papal State, and you could go after Portugal because they're not nearby for both of us in yep. that way. It'll work. Who's this? Cleves. Why is there an army from Cleves in here? Ah. There, the Papal the Papal State is winning that war. Not surprisingly at all. Oh, you've got your first army onto. Uh, one of the Belieras yep. there. Right. Um, how are my colonies doing? I've got three growing right now. Oh. Look, Flanged Bicep has a fleet. That's good. Those pirates have gone. Oh, and I should be declaring war on a... On the Mohican. So I will. <laughs> Steve has 47,000 men nearby. It's probably Bloody gonna, hell. It's probably going to go quite well. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably a bit overkill. They killed the Mohican army before my army even got there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that went well. Yeah, there's not very many of them. Um, oh, there's a 22,000 uh, Turbo Hedgehogs army over there as well. I really should join Turbo Hedgehogs up a bit. They seem to be very confused. <laughs> the country in three different bits. Yeah. A call to arms! Portugal is requesting that I come to their aid in their imperialist war against Quiche. I could decline, and that would break the alliance. Which is kind of what we want in our schemings. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to not. I've gained the Imperial Custis Belly against Ooh. New Portugal and New... So have I. Have you just cancelled the alliance with them? Mm. Nope. Uh, I've got an option. Oh, no, oh, New, New, New Portugal it. just got formed, that's why. It's their, it's, it's their thing, isn't it? It's their thing in Florida. Peace offer from Mohican. Nope. Won that siege. Gave me all your stuff. Right, that was over. A royal marriage offer from Austria. Okay. So far, so good. So that was over. Steve got another nice piece of territory. Um, Portugal Ooh. is now not my ally anymore. They may be. They may be and seeking And the paper other war allies. is over. Which Love means it. in I go. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Because they took all of southern Italy. Is <laughs> why. Yep, Papal State That's owns fine all by of me. Italy now. So I would, uh, yes, take absolutely as much of Aragon as you possibly can, because whatever's left, the Papal State's going to eat. Yep, I'm on it. <laughs> Jolly good. Uh, where's Kiche? They're probably not very big. But I'm quite interested in who, in who, in who uh, Portugal is having this war with. Oh, it's one of the Central American countries. They're not huge. I think Portugal's probably stands a fair chance of winning without my help, to be honest with you. 
we'll see. And if this weakens... Well, 51% so war score better. so far. Actually, now that I'm not allied with Quadril anymore, we kind of need you to hurry up with this war. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I'm nearly there. So we can get on with the next one. What, you mean Portugal? <laughs> yes. So that, you, yep. so that you can go after Portugal and I can go after the Papal State. Any moment now. <laughs> Although, uh, I also need to... Uh, actually, no. I don't know. How many troops do I need back? Oh, I'll break my I'm quite the Papal Yeah, you've got three provinces left to take. Um, yep. So you're probably doing, get it. doing reasonably well there. Is this a waste stand? No. Oop. There's a sea battle going on. That does happen Yay. sometimes in the sea. Yeah. Did you win? Oh no, it's not going well for my mind. Um, let's have a look. Oh, you lost. Yeah, I thought I had quite a decent fleet there. Mm, well, unfortunately, so does Aragon. Yeah. Have, well, it's, it's more, all going to be uh, academic in a moment. They have more heavy ships it's than you. It's too do. late. Oh, and they've got uh, ten galleys, which are quite high, high, uh, useful in the Mediterranean. Galleys are rubbish in open sea, but in, in closed seas, they're um, slightly better than light ships, even though being cheaper. But yeah, yeah as you say, it won't matter very long. Yeah. I've got. Oh. Is that some of there? Are they actually yes. Uh, you moved all your men out of out of the Iberian Peninsula, and the Aragonese army oh. are now taking stuff from you. Well, where do they come from? They shouldn't have run. Ah. I don't know. Get back there now. <laughs> you need to get your, <laughs> you need to get your troops over. There's, That's a bit crap. There's thirty thousand men there. You could call, uh, probably me, if you want. You should be able to do a call to arms from me, because given that we're allies, and I've got. There it is. I'll come and sort that out for you, no problem. Send one army round to the west to tidy up that uh, Aragonese army. Your fleet's getting battered next to Spain. Yeah. And send one army in to Aragonese territory. It will be fine. Oh, so annoying. Yeah, you've got to be careful. I didn't think I, I thought I'd left thirty odd thousand troops there, so uh, so it was a misclick, really. Their general must be very good, given that uh, my yeah. vastly superior numbers are not really telling in this fight. It's gonna. I'm gonna win. It's just much closer than I would have liked. win. That's your three, that's your thousands of men that you thought you'd left behind. Yep. Let's just start tidying this stuff up. Cheers. Get the invasion on. Yep. Carry on with the invasion. We'll tidy things up over here on the mainland. Hey, a new heir to the throne. Hurrah. Is that done? Occupy Tarragona. And move on to that. Papal State broke their alliance with us. Oh. They are preparing Excellent. for war. And they've cancelled the right to military access that we gave them. Oh. Barcelona's coming with the occupation of Spain. They're taking Girona. I will. Oh, you've got an army moving there now. About to take um, Roussillon here. He saw off for Aragon. Yes, off. So what's happening? Well, I'll be able to take here. that one in the north. Uh, which uh, one? Um, Roussillon. Roussillon. Yeah, I've got an army sitting sieging it right now. I mean, if you take it, will I be able to claim it? Well, I will build. I will transfer control of it to you if it becomes a problem. Ah, right, Charles. So, right, last territory. So that siege is about to. It's getting very close to done. You just need to kill those 6,000 men. Yep. Your score is 85%. 92% on this siege now. Yep, last one. Be over in a moment, and then it's we can invade done. Portugal. Siege of Russia is over. It did go to me. I guess we can test that theory now. Um, yeah. Yes. Transfer control of the province to a war ally, Spain. There we go. Now it's Sweet. yellow stripes. 
Aragorn has another army. <laughs> <laughs> in your yeah, well, stuff. it's all too late. Well, they're not at 100%, though. You want the war score at 100%, so you can Where's do... Where's the army? They're in uh, southeastern Spain. Oh, yeah. So, so I don't know where they're coming in from, but we need to sort of crush them and get them out of your stuff. They've, they must have some stuff somewhere else, because that... I think th they're on their boat. There's a tra Yeah, there was a transport fleet brought them in. Royal Marriage of Portugal is over. Right. It's all going the way that... So I think Portugal and the Papal State... Wow, the Papal uh, State's got a massive fleet. The, the, the Papal State and Portugal... I think because I cancelled my lights with Portugal, uh, that made the Papal State angry. What can I buy here? Um, the Enlightenment. That's very expensive. 99% still. Where's the other 1%? Is uh, there an island I've missed? I don't know. It's possibly just the fleet blockading stuff, but I don't think so. I don't know where you could look to find that. Yeah. Um. Let's see what I can get anyway. So I want that. 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 that, that. I, I mean, can't quite take everything anyway. No, you that. can't. You can't take everything anyway. All right. Well, fine. No, I can take enough though. You get a list of their provinces as well, though, so that'll tell you which one you can't actually have if there's another one off somewhere. Oh, hidden. so. No, Circus. No. The two I can't take. You've got Malta. Oh, Malta. Ah! Freaking Malta! <laughs> yeah. Damn it. You haven't. Uh, oh, I can take it though. Yeah, it's even right though there. I haven't actually got it. It's yeah. right. It's right. Well, you can. It's it's right there as well. You could. You just didn't land troops on it. That's where the, those all those armies were coming from as well. They were raising them on Malta and shipping them out. However, it's just allowed me to actually uh, request to take them though. Uh, yeah, so, you, you, okay. you can have it. It just costs more if you haven't occupied it. That's all. That should do it. Where are we at now? Aragon seeds lots of stuff. Aragon has two provinces left. Yep. Okay. Um, mm. I just need to do a quick bit of coring. I'll just move my armies out of here again. Oh, the Papal State's blocking me. I can't get back into my Savoy stuff because of, because of them blocking it. So that's good. How's my colonies going? I've got... I need to be growing another colony as well. Noble rebels in Mingan. In from Bob. I have to get my lads back onto the uh Let's deal with this the right place now. Rebel uprising in Bob. Um okay. Give me a few moments to just get my troops in the right place. Okay. Well, I also need to uh, actually spend a bunch of uh, monarch power and get a debate going in Parliament, so... Okay. Uh, trade power, trade range. I'll just try and get that. Ignore corruption. Bribe MPs. There we go. Um, yes, so... I need to spend, because I'm not spending 900 odd stuff on those things, it's far too much. Right. Done. Okay. Um, so how are you 
I mean, are you okay. um, in a situation where you're able to wage war at this point? Yeah. Are you in if a you good want. place for war? Uh, I'm just killing some rebels at the moment, but. Yep, yeah, I'm just uh, just offered some noble rebels. So as soon as they're sorted out. And I've got a few troops that need to be transported. Okay. It's, so, in yeah, yeah, about a, a month, I'll be ready. Okay. Just a bit of shuffling. That's fine. Um, how's your force limit looking? Are you good? I am uh, 239 of... Uh, oh, 251 of 271. Yeah, I'm... I might build a few more ships quickly. But I'm not sure they're going to take a while, aren't they? Oh, I could I could have a fleet nearly twice the size of the fleet that I have. Yeah. <laughs> My force limit's two hundred and thirteen, I've got hundred and fourteen. Royal ships. marriage offer from Portugal, which I will decline for the first time ever. Hmm. So yeah, be prepared to move on I don't know, uh, you'll have, if you want Arguim you're gonna have to go in by sea. That's kind of annoying. Um, which is the Portuguese thing on the west coast of Africa. And also, oh yeah, yeah. Bear in mind that they also have Madeira and the Azores off the coast. Yeah, I could move my fleet there, I guess. And we'll have it ready. I mean, it needs to obviously having it close to the land is useful. Yep. I'm moving my big army down from from Britain into to France now. In preparation for war. So yes, so if you declare on Portugal, let's have a look at what's going on. They are still just allied with the Papal State and you. So if you declare on them, it's you um, versus them, the Papal State, and their... Um, so you want me to declare and, you, and you'll uh, join in? Well, yes, because if you declare on them, then that breaks the alliance with, that you yep. have with them. And then you can call me in and I will join in and then we'll see what happens. It shouldn't take too long. There's... <laughs> A bunch of bohemian troops around there as well. I'm not sure what's going on there. I think that's it for this army. Yeah. Right. I'm going to build some ships anyway. Probably wise. I should probably do the same. Really. Boats. More three deckers. Lots and 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 lots of ships. And I'm going to build these great frigates, which are great. <laughs> you can tell. It's right there in the name. Yep. Right. Let's see. I'm just going to colour in lads. the entire country green with boats being made. <laughs> as much of it as I can. Ooh, I've got to recruit some generals. There we go. No, it's not actually, that fleet's going to be not going to be built for like a year, but you know, <laughs> get there. Okay, so my army uh, these armies are a little bit too big for. Oh, I've just got to trim them for the territories. Yeah, I mean, there's there's going to be attrition happening anyway because you're going to wind up in other places, but. Lost the colonialism sea against Portugal. Oh, plus ten percent morale of armies. It's handy. Yeah, the reason for that is that New Portugal is now a colonial nation, so the colony has effectively disappeared. Right, I think I'm about ready. All right, can we kick it off then? Uh, if you want, we might want to wait until next week for it, uh, as we're at almost time. Yep, I can dissolve the alliance. Oh, I'll dissolve the alliance next time. Oh, I'm about ready. There's a war happening in Bohemia. Austria and Mantua are at war with Bohemia. The Papal Mantua Nationalist War. That means the Papal States are involved in that as well. Good, good. Yes. Papal States, Papal States attacked Mantua. That means they might refuse to join in the war with Portugal. Ooh. Um, which would break their alliance with Portugal. Um, that would be good. It's weird. They'd still be allied to Bohemia, though. So I hope, actually, it kind of helps you hope they don't refuse that. Anyway, um, 
if you're prepared, I think we'll probably leave kicking it off until next week, and then we can see what happens. So yep, sounds good. I'll uh, pause it here at the start of December and take stock. Bohemia's actually, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. They did have a lot of troops. They must be elsewhere because they're getting oh, occupied. It's good. All my, a load of my ships have just turned up. Yes, the frigates um, build quickly, relatively quickly. It's the heavy ships that take a while. Yeah. And I've started getting my new frigates have started showing up as well. So that's all good. Anyway. Yeah, I've um, got a fleet lurking over in the uh, west there as well. Uh, yeah, Austria absorbed um, Savoy as well. So that's that gone. So basically, yeah, it's... Uh, it's be try and be sneaky about taking stuff from the papal state now. Yeah, and it's getting quite big. <laughs> turn around and stab Portugal in the back after years <laughs> and years of being a faithful ally. He's like, no, you're annoying me now. I'm going to stab you right up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, I should remember as well because um, you know my stuff isn't anywhere in South America, but a new Portugal is in North America, and I yeah. do have a lot of colonies there. <laughs> With a total of um, looks like six, seventy, maybe eighty, no, ninety thousand uh, troops between my colonies in North America, so they'll be There's pouring 46, into six thousand in yeah, they'll, New Portugal. They'll be pouring into New Portugal. Yeah, um, so that will help. My seventeen k British troops won't do anything. <laughs> yeah, but probably, but uh, yeah, New Portugal needs a. But Bit Steve and uh, Toaster Fungus and Turbo Hedgehogs will get in there. Bob probably won't. Bob seems to have 2,000 troops. Not sure what's happening there. Anyway, so, um, focus has turned away from Africa for a little while. Yeah. Just a little bit. Well, so you could beat up on Aragon, which has gone pretty well. Yep. So there's lots of, everything's nice and Spanish over here now. Just a couple of provinces down there. Papal State may not be able to um, be in the state to go after them for a while, given the other wars that are to be involved in, and then you can finish them off. That'd be nice. Everything will be a lovely yellow. Everything will be a lovely yellow. I'm hoping to through our. You, you get to have the entire peninsula there, the lovely yellow, yep. and some bits of Africa as well, some more bits of Africa. Yep. And I'm trying. And I'm, I'm hoping to start colouring in all of this way along the coast towards Italy, in my deep red colour. And join join up some of this border gore that I've got going on. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> it is a bit of a strange shape. I've, well, I've got like I've got just random chunks of red in the middle of other people's territory. Yeah. It's irritating. So I need to get the people state out of the way for that. Also, so I can get a border with Mantua again. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for what? this week. It's been, um, I was going to say a mixed bag, but not really. Had yeah. Some, had some rebels okay. to deal with, but it's gone all right. Yeah, Aragon's nearly been destroyed. It was, it's, yeah, a bit, a bit more quiet, but you finally achieved... Finally got a war. ...achieved your pushing <laughs> Aragon out of um, the Iberian Peninsula goal. Yep. Spanish Africa still looks good. Um, I'm uh, yeah, Jolob's a little annoying, but... Continuing to grow Bob over here. Because Bob apparently desperately needs the help. I don't know what's going on with Bob's economy. They have no men. But I keep on adding. I keep on giving them more stuff, and they've got. They've still only got two thousand men. They've got. I think they've got some boats now. Yeah, they've got about twelve, thirteen boats, but they don't seem to have any troops to speak of for some reason. Not sure why. Oh well, not to worry. Never mind. So, um. That's it for this week. Uh, join us again next time for Portugal crushing. Portugal getting stabbed in the back after centuries yep. of alliance. <laughs> Literally, of marriages and three, everything. Three hundred years of peace <laughs> ruined because we went. Ooh, <laughs> don't like that colour anymore. We went. Ooh, I see an opportunity. <laughs> Just absolutely the worst. Anyway. <laughs> Until then, uh, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.